All right, all right, y'all. Hmm, let's see what we got up in here. This is the, the dumpster I'll be finding. Find a good stuff in. Let's see. Any RMAs today? Ugh. Yep, I see a couple. See a couple. Let's see what this bar. Down at the bottom, man. Soggy bottom. Ooh. Right. Yep, there goes one. Right, this little box. All right, got one of them cameras right there. Oh, there we go. Some more ish. Right. Yep, there's one in that box. Camera then screen then touch. <laughs> right on. Oh yeah, there's there's stuff. There's stuff. Oh my gosh, this thing is full. Gonna need a bigger box, huh? All right, let's, let's do this. Right. Let's see. Right. Oh yeah, there goes some stuff. Right. Boxes are full of ish. Right. Set these puppies down nice and slow. Words, words and such. <sighs> yep. I'll take your RMAs, buddy. This box right here is stuffed. <sighs> All right. There we go. More. Right. That should I've been during the day. Kind of feels weird, don't it? It's all right. Uh, feels weird for me too. But hey, we don't have to have the the whole lot. Look at that. Just non-stop cameras. This thing is full. They tried to hide them on the bottom though. Y'all can't be, y'all can't hide this stuff from me. I'll find it. Yeah, I will. find that stuff. Alright, we got more. There's more! box, probably a screen. Wow, that's not a bad little lick right here on this dumpster. First dumpster too. That's what daddy's talking about. Daddy be talking, that's what he be talking about. Got one in there. All right. Anything over here? Let's 
size boxes, empty boxes, pussy boxes. All right. I think we got it, y'all. Oh, hold up. Almost. Almost got it all. A camera. All right. All right, now I think we got it. Yeah, baby. Stuff. Let's see if we be getting anything up in here today, y'all. I see a bunch of pipe. Oh, I see a box. Okay, there's a little thump thump. All right, jump on in, y'all. Water's fine. It's got wire in it. Get that wire out. There goes a ball. Yeah, we'll just grab it. I'll clean it up later. Later, later. I got wire in it too. It sure does. It all got wire. That's got wire in it. Okay. We'll just have to go through it. It's all plastic. Uh, plastic pipe. Conduit. Oh, there's, some of them got wires in them and stuff. Yeah, that one's got wire in it too. We'll just, they don't want to seem to come out real easy, so we'll just grab it. Yep, all that, it's just full of wire. Looks like it's got some, uh, that doesn't got nothing. The, uh, Romex in it. Ooh, what's that? It's a contractor bag. It's not real heavy, though. So we'll just take a quick little peek. Let's see if there's anything good. Yeah, there's some breakers in here. Let's get us a box. Let's start pilfering through this stuff. Put that out there. Things down at the bottom there. I'll take it. I'll take it. And my little box of scrap. Some snippets. Some more snippets. Or a little ballast. More snippets and some copper. Yeah, not a whole lot. There's stuff, man. He's got to get it. Got to reach in and grab it. Yep. Wires. Breakers. Snip it. Another one. A lot of that stuff's already stripped. Feels like it may have, yep. That's weird, I find it and it's just got the copper piece in it. Like the wires and such are all gone. This, feels, this one feels really light. I'm gonna go out on limb and say they're probably in a whole lot in this one. Ooh, it stinks. It doesn't smell pretty. 
I'll get these last little bit of snippets down here on the bottom. Okay, rock and roll, baby, rock and roll. All right. Yeah, we're just gonna have to take that pipe with us. Jeez. Let me get the wire out. Yeah, I don't want to come out. I have to cut it out of there. Oh well. Let's take it with us. Yeah. <laughs> We're back here with the cord cut off already. Looks like there's some pots in that bag. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. A little bit of pot in the dumpster. They're pretty colors, huh? These are real pretty colors. A lot pretty colors. Ooh, doggy. Yeah, you crazy, man. You crazy. Yeah, somebody cut the cut the cord off. something let's check her out huh oh. it's a big old breaker take that sucker Get some wires oh it's a good wire okay training use only this little box goes here there goes some snippets Good stuff right there. Some cast aluminum. A little plastic chain. It's a little lock box. Grab that. Oh boy, this thing is stuffed. Nuts and bolts and such. It's a cute little box. Let's set this out over here. Let's dig. Dig, baby, dig. What is that? I don't know. There's a lot of them, though. Look at that. There's some earplugs. Still in the packaging. Take some earplugs. Ooh, there goes something. The little probes. Golly, look at all this stuff. Ooh, look at that. Is that wire? Ooh, look at that. Piece of copper right there. What kind of wire we got here? Yep, that's the wire. Bonafide scrap. Boy, this chain and stuff is really getting on my nerves. Plastic chain. Ugh, what a waste. Looks like stainless. Possibly, ooh, look at that. Now that's the good stuff right there. There goes another piece of copper. Some wire. Uh, somebody just like... Man, I wish they hadn't dumped it out like that. We made it easier. 
to get it. Put some bins. Take the bins. Some more wires. Get the snippets, y'all. I'm just throwing out toolboxes. I'll take it though, I'll take it. Take what we can. Woo! I'm telling you, I'm telling you. This dumpster's got some good stuff in it. It's another little container. Wire. There's a lot of like little stuff, little stuff that I could spend all day picking that crap up, like straight up. All day picking that up. Just trying to get the good stuff. Yeah, that stuff. It's metallic. Stainless steel banding. Grab that whole bag. Throw that at the bag of the truck. They tossed out all kinds of crap in here. Get this stuff. It's cast aluminum. What I'm talking about, yo. There's just so much crap in here. Okay. All right, I think we got most of the good stuff. I mean, there's lots of nuts and bolts, but I mean, it's gonna take me forever to pick that crap up. But I definitely think we got what was good. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Got up in here, boat steer wheel. It's a cooler. Something that bad of shape. Let's see what we got in this basket. Scrub tastic. It feels like it's in there. <gasps> Is this a box? Jewelry. It's a nice picture of a baby. Some chains. I don't know, that may be a little gold right there, that chain. We'll have to check her out. Huh. Yeah, check it out, man. It's like a picture frame. They put a shark in it. That looked pretty cool right there on the side of the truck, huh? Maybe, maybe. I wonder if that's brass. The Egyptian stuff. My grandma used to have stuff like that. All right, well, we got some jewelry. A boat steering wheel and a scrub tastic. All right, scrub tastic, fantastic. Oh, uh, yeah, stuff. <sighs> Smells like Mexican food. Uh oh, look at that. Uh oh, more lights. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was just up in here the other night. 
let's get him. Uh, my stuff. Uh, yeah, I went to the scrapyard yesterday. Took all the lights apart and everything. Unfortunately, the uh, transformers inside of them had, uh, yeah, these things, they're aluminum. So, uh, they aren't worth nothing. But, uh, everything else was good. Got a couple hundred bucks, man. Nice. Cha -ching. Pretty sure I just ran over a piece of scrap. Nothing in here. But, if I was a bad man, I'd say that's a piece of copper. I mean, we're finding some copper today. So we got to dig up in here, y'all. Yeah. Right, there's a box. It's lunch. Some wires. That's it. That's all you got. That's all right. Right over. I see lights. I do see lights. Somebody's funky clothes. See what we got here. Yeah, some lights. <sighs> Looks like just two though. Alright, two is better than none. Two is better than one. Unless you're in a race. And in that case, you want to be one. Funky pillow. No more lights. Alright. Is that a backpack? Nothing in the back pot, y'all. Got anything up in here? Let's see a boatload of wires. Let's check it out. Get some wireage. Looks like there's some coax in there. But there's also some good stuff. Yeah, we'll take it. I'll take it, take it, take it. Let's, oh. oh yeah, there's a bunch of here. Oh, and we got a box. There's something here. Right there. A whole mess of wires under here. Whole mess of wires. There's some more. Looks like over here. Let's check it out. at the corner of my eye. There's something down here. There's stuff on the bottom. Just gotta get to it. Scrap. Scrap is the name of the game. Here. Go 
this way with it. Yeah, that's grip. We're digging. We're digging. Toss out. Da -da. Got some stuff. Power supply. Scrap. Scrap. Get a vacuum. Not interested in that. Or a piece of a vacuum. There. Power cord. Not bad, you know. Got to dig around for it a little bit. The extension cord, I think. Oh, nope, that's the uh, cord to the vacuum. We cut that puppy. You are mine. You know what? It's aluminum stick on there. Let's cut, cut the cord. And it attaches here too. What an interesting cord. That was an auric. You can tell by the power cord is a decent, decent vacuum. Ah. Oh well, we'll just we'll take it. We'll just have to take this funky bag with it. That's all right. Pokey pokey, Auric. Now there goes some more up here. And I think that's good. Anything in the bottle? Uh-uh. All right. Got some stuff, y'all. Yeah. Watch your head, watch your head. Here and here. All right, so I was rolling, just coming up here to the storage unit, and I noticed in the dumpster here look like there's some bike parts, motorcycle parts. Oh, that looks all broken. Take it as scrap, though. No problem. The gas tank, dirt bike tires. I'm sure they don't have a problem with me taking this stuff. That's kind of cool. I got some buddies that ride. They might be interested in some of this stuff. Ooh, what the heck is that? I don't know. Let's grab it. Alright. And then this motorcycle wheel. That's probably worth a few bucks. Get the tire on it and everything. Ugh. Oh, there goes the rotors, the brake pads. There's the saddle. Uh, I got the horse and she got the saddle. Uh oh. The lady's coming. We're gonna get in trouble. Get in trouble. Hello. 
You don't mind I take some of this stuff out of the dumpster? Okay. All right, I, I figured you wouldn't. All right. <laughs> like, I don't care. Uh, okay, well, thank you. Are you the guy who do the, uh, wait, what's you saying? The Mike the Scavenger, the YouTube videos. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm down the down the way and I was just coming in here to finish up a video and uh I saw the like the motorcycle parts and I'm like, man, that's that's good scrap metal right there. So yeah. Be my guest. Okay, well it looks it looks like I got all the good stuff, so well thank you so much. You are welcome. Alright. Sure. Well, all right, all right, scavengers. Another successful day, I should say, out there getting some stuff in the urban jungle. Uh, got all kinds of crap today. Uh, loaded up pretty good, though. Definitely got some scrap. Got our filling wires back there. We got us a little cooler. Uh, some of these, more more of these lights to uh, to disassemble. They're, they're pretty easy and pretty fun to take apart. And uh, like I said, I went to the scrapyard the other day. Uh, a couple hundred bucks, but I also had some number one wire and some other stuff in there with it. But you know, it's a pretty decent scrap run. Uh, lots of cameras, lots and lots of these monitors, wiring harnesses, cameras, more wiring harnesses. Unbelievable the stuff they toss out. Uh, got us a little plate here. I'm guessing it's a brass plate, it is not magnetic. So I don't know. Is this stuff uh, collectible? Is it worth anything or I mean it's got to be worth a little bit more than scrap I don't know we'll find out we'll find out and then with that one dumpster we got all the little snippets or box of goodies got a little voltmeter there some copper pieces uh, we picked these out I was kind of like picking my brain but I think these have to do with uh, like computers and stuff I think that you'd have like a you know plug in here a plug in here and a plug in here and a plug in here so we got a handful of those y'all let me know what these are Odds are the electronics guy probably going to be interested in those if it's computer type stuff. Got me my uh, my captain's wheel. Maybe I'll put a, take that out, put a picture of my ugly mug in there, and then I'll just, you know, screw it to the side of the truck, you know. The, uh, arr, <laughs> the SS Dotty. Uh, that's really cool to find, though. Really, really cool to find. A uh, little box of jewelry here. I kind of went through. Some of it looks like it may have some plating on it some gold plating uh like none of this is picking up a magnet here so i really don't know like this chain i thought was gold it's picking up the magnet the magnet's picking it up just a little bit so it may be some gold plating uh that chain is definitely magnetic this one not so much a little bit could be stainless who knows but uh yeah a little bit of jewelry in here nothing too crazy you got some puka shells you know if you guys want to you know take it back to 2002 you know we can rock the puka shells uh just some uh, costume jewelry and such but uh i've got five nieces now and i'm pretty sure i could deck them all out with all this stuff it's a uh no no magnetic there probably gold plated or something little little red ruby in there or whatever but yeah the little girls they'll probably love they'll love this stuff putting this on dressing up probably uh dressing up the dog at the house because you know i see that dog he'd be walking around got beads and necklaces and they think they even tried to put makeup on him once but he's a cool dog man blue dog he'll uh you know basically let you do whatever you want but uh yeah 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 just an old jewelry kit let's see if there's anything there's, so there's something in the back here let's see if we get it out it looks like a picture yeah that's an old picture probably from the 50s or 60s somebody's kiddo and then yeah and then the uh, the little charm over here that had somebody's kiddo in it too. It's kind of sad to see that kind of stuff, but this is probably, you know, maybe grandma's stuff that maybe grandma's not with us no more and just kind of got tossed out. But, you know, we'll be respectful, as respectful as possible with it. And, uh, you know, definitely give it, 
give it some new life. Like I said, give it to the, uh, the little kiddos. I'm sure they'd be stoked about that. Uh, got a little box here. Cisco IAD 2400 series. Is that a switch box? Yeah, possibly. So, yeah, electronic type stuff right there. And then this uh, this motorcycle frame. I don't think I've quite seen anything like this. Y'all have to look at this. This is a Franken bike from hell. You know what this piece is right here that's holding these two together? That's a truck for a skateboard. Like, I don't know what they got going on here. But I bet if somebody had a little welder, they could probably, they could probably whip something up because I'm thinking it goes with that smaller wheel back over there. But totally uh, something I'd never seen before. And it was cool. I just picked it up in the uh, the dumpster here at the just coming into the storage unit, and then the lady she, you know, rolled up on me and I was just like, you don't mind taking this? She's like, take it. She even said that, you know, if she got more, she'll let me know. So, yeah, they'd be cleaning out the storage units and stuff, and sometimes they toss out some pretty good stuff. Uh, definitely, definitely. But yeah, we got a ton of wires back there. I got to sort through, go through. We did get us a little bit of copper. Got some good number one wire out of that one dumpster. We got the cameras. These toolboxes here, just full of. Uh, we got some U bolts, and uh, it looks like it's all going to be carbon steel. So not a whole lot scrap value here, but it's still scrap value. I'll kind of go through it and see if you know there's anything at all that you know. Yeah. Maybe, maybe get lucky, find a couple of brass screws or anything, but I think everything like, like that, that's, that's just zinc plated, so. Maybe some stainless if we're lucky, but go through it. I mean, there's definitely some use in here. These big bolts, these wood screws, I mean, like, there's always, always a use for that. And that, that dumpster, we also found there was a bunch of cast aluminum, uh, little conduit fittings and stuff. They're back there as well. Uh that more number one wire i wanted to see what was in this bag here uh, yeah we got the uh the stainless steel banding by bandit that's not bad but i wanted to see what this was what this was just some sort of brackets and yeah they're magnetic so that's just straight scrap right there. I think that's the same thing going on over here, yeah. So, yeah, nothing too high dollar there, but I mean, all in all, a pretty successful afternoon getting some stuff. I just kind of like, I was gonna go out last night, got a little sidetracked, uh, met up with some old friends, and then I uh, ended up having to crash on a couch somewhere. But I got out this morning and I'm like, man, I gotta get out there. I gotta, I gotta make it happen because I didn't get it last night. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, we totally ended up making it happen. Uh, cameras, monitors, all that stuff over here, these RMAs, and uh, good stuff over here, motorcycle stuff, I've already got somebody that uh, is interested in the motorcycle stuff, the wheels, we got the uh, the brake, brake discs, the, uh, the gas can, I don't know what they were doing here, it looked like they tried to cut some stuff or whatever but uh like i said you know i got people that that that's what they do is that you know they buy these old motorcycles and i mean i'm talking they'll buy some of these old like the what do they call them a shovel head you know something like from the 70s and you know just a big old eight hangers no suspension and like you know totally chap your ass when they like they drove literally from texas to daytona on this thing and it was like i don't know how y'all did it i don't know how y'all did it i'd have been like all right i'm gonna take an uber and if anybody wants to drive the the motorcycle like that's some hardcore easy rider stuff right there but yeah definitely got a buyer on that this stuff sells all day long and uh yeah so pretty pretty good day pretty good day i'd say like there's gonna be some aluminum right there and we got a, uh, a lubricator. But all that, that's a big old chunk of aluminum on there. So you can clean that up, get you some aluminum. All this stuff right here, cast aluminum. Uh, yeah, just just pretty awesome, pretty awesome. Digging it, digging it, digging it. Uh, really curious to try this guy out. Maybe work, uh, you know, maybe work cleaning the truck. But it looks like it's good for the uh, rotating scrub head. Great for tubs, tiles, and more. Rechargeable, no batteries needed. So it's a rechargeable. And uh, it feels like, if it, it does feel like everything's in there. So let's take a quick peek. 
The other thing's never even been used. So, if I can't use it, I could definitely probably get five, ten bucks for it, garage sale or whatever, but <laughs> is what it is. But anyways, yeah, so all in all, a pretty successful evening. Like, I do have some work cut out for me here, here over the next day or two. Uh, luckily, I don't have to go to work, so I'm going to get home, get all this you know, sorted out, you know, drop the stuff off at the storage unit that needs to be dropped off at the storage unit, and get home, clean all this stuff up, and get ready, and, uh, you know, just hit that scrap yard again when she gets full but anyways well alrighty scavengers that is going to do it for this episode of dumpster diving as always it was a total pleasure Ooh, copper be sure to like the video subscribe to the channel share with your friends uh instagram i got one check it out i think i just passed 4,000 followers on instagram i don't know why instagram so much harder than youtube like get followers but it is what it is I, i'm probably just not doing something right you know i probably have to like be posting like two three videos or or something a day i mean that's the algorithms or whatever with the they want you to just be you know social 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 and i'm just like man come on bro but anyways uh yeah instagram got one check it out extra special shout out to everybody that bought some merch appreciate that if y'all are interested down below teespring go get y'all some stuff t-shirts uh i think we got koozies coffee mugs we're working on getting hats i'm trying to figure out how i can get some hats going uh through through the teespring thing so hopefully hopefully they come up with something i might contact them up because you know i'd like to get a hat or a beanie or something like that but anyways whoo all right well i got some work to do cleaning up you know just just the uh the, the scavenger lifestyle man this is what we do this is what we do and then my storage room unit back there, man. I don't know if y'all can tell. It's getting a little out of control, man. Probably about time to purge and have a little garage sale or something. Definitely getting to that point. I mean, I've got stuff up there on them shelves. And all that stuff up there, it's already tagged, ready to go in those crates. So, like, you know, when garage sale time comes around, all I got to do is set a table up and just put all that stuff out. It's already tagged, ready to go. That's the key to it, you know. Like, don't let it just pile up and then you know you, you're stuck all day like tagging stuff you know you got a little bit of stuff here go ahead and tag it uh and then you know just start boxing it up and when you get a box full of tag stuff you know tape it up put it up on the shelf all that stuff's ready to go and then you know by the time garage sale comes around you're not freaking out not flipping out and uh, you ain't tripping because you already got everything ready to go you're prepared preparedness is next to godliness i say but anyways, well, already cats, y'all take care. Be safe out there. We're going to see you on that next one. Probably be another day or two before we get up, get something up for you. But uh, we're definitely going to do it. I mean, that's what we do. Scavengers. But all right, y'all be safe out there. Peace. What we got here, y'all? Scrappy, scrappy, scrappy.